Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pitch Side Broadcast channel. I am your host, the HD of the BSB. Like, share, comment on this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Enable notifications to receive all the updates from these match recaps and all the other content on the channel, including our podcast, which you can listen to on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform. And of course, on follow social media. I'm at Side BSB on Twitter, Pitch Side World on Instagram. Uh, join us for more, of course, and, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Help us on the way to our first gay, and of course, help us. Um, you know, produce more episodes of this, and we come to you straight after the game between Real Sociedad and Barcelona in La Liga round 28. And it was a great performance from the Catalan side. 6-1, they win away from home. Um, in a great performance. I mean, it wasn't all that perfect, but it was a great performance for the most apart from Barcelona. No changes uh, for the shape from Ronald Koeman, which is a smart thing to do. You don't really change, you know, side. That is bringing you wins. Only some changes in personnel, though. De Jong coming in at centre half instead of um, Ronald Araujo, of course, became injured. Araujo just returned from injury, so do you, want, you don't want to risk the guy really for the rest of the season. You have big games, I think, <clears throat> is going to be involved in for sure. Um, definitely, the start was pretty good from Barcelona the first 15 to 20 minutes, but without much of a break, without much of a you know penetration, if we should say, for Barcelona, definitely not the kind of um, game that you want, um, you know, to start with, and Real Sociedad with a usual 4-4-2, merging into a 4-3-3, the sort of compact side even evolving into a 5-3-2 when they go to the uh, their defensive shape. They weren't, you know, they weren't to be break broken from the middle from Barcelona, so they Barcelona moved on to stretch the game on the width, of course, using the width of the pitch, relying on Dest and Alba, who made a lot of runs forward, um, you know. After that first quarter of an hour, really, where Barcelona couldn't get through the middle, Real Sociedad had a, num- a couple of opportunities to score before the goals uh, come in from Barcelona, but definitely Ter Stegen had to pull on a couple of brilliant saves. Real Sociedad was squeezing in, trying to stretch out um, Barcelona, trying to, for- to force them to open spaces behind, and that happened on a couple of occasions. Again, as I mentioned, where Ter Stegen had to pull saves, but then afterwards. Barcelona started stretching the game out a little bit quicker and they started moving from the sides and the goals starting coming in and who else but Jordi Alba was on the assist for the first goal. Beautiful action starting from the right side and ending on the left hand side. That is the importance of how good Barcelona stretched Real Sociedad in this game and tried to play using the width of the pitch and not making the mistake of some other teams that faced Sociedad in the past and tried to break them through the middle. Um, the, uh, the opening of the, uh, of the result of course from Antoine Griezmann finding himself in the right position at the right time to open the scoring for Barcelona and from there I mean Sociedad could have equalised by the way straight after the goal Uh, Isak had a glorious opportunity but Ter Stegen had to pull another save and then Barcelona right before half time scoring the second goal thanks to Sergino Des from all people an assist from Messi and a brilliant finish from the American to make it 2-0 at half time and of course in the second half Sociedad for the first 5-6 minutes started strong almost threatening really to um, to score and really you know put Barcelona under some nervy situation in the second half, but Barcelona managed to bounce back brilliantly. The third goal coming in from Dest once again, and again worked by Jordi Alba from that left hand side. I mean you know perfectly another example of how Barcelona stretched the game using the width of the pitch. After that goal, it's also not trying to change their shape, moving on into a five at the back kind of position outright with three centre halves trying to mirror Barcelona's gameplay but that didn't work as well either because Barcelona were just too good to control the game from that point onwards and then of course another goal for Lionel Messi in the 56 minutes a quick fire double for Barcelona making it 4-0 brilliant assessment assist from Busquets stretching out and breaking the Real Sociedad lines with a beautiful diagonal forward to Lionel Messi and the finish was undoubted of course from the Argentine GOAT. Usman Dembele had a goal chalked off um, just after that of course in the 60th minute but then in the 71st minute his goal counts fifth goal a brilliant individual effort I would say after the assist from uh, Elish Moriba the substitute who came on late on in the second half and of course it was an eventuality that Boston are going to be winning this game and with 5-0 um, lead for them they definitely let off the gas a little bit they let off their foot of the gas they gave Sociedad a little bit of momentum um, in, in that game and they scored um, a consolation goal really from uh, Barantia who was the substitute as well um, in this game 5-1 it was uh, in the 77th minute and then Messi late on adding a 6 
do the game again it was an eventuality and everything after the pretty much the third goal really for Dest or even the second goal as Barcelona heading into halftime leading 2-0 everything was a formality I think in the second half so Sudan threatened in the first couple of minutes in, of the second half but never amounted to big chances in that second half never bothered to stake in never annoyed Barcelona's defense in any way shape or form in that second half and they weren't really up to the task against the Barcelona side who just flowed well um, flowed together so well in the game and definitely put their stamp on this match of course keeping the difference four points behind Atletico Madrid who won earlier in the day against Deportivo Alaves definitely the next couple of games for Barcelona are going to be so important in what comes and how the title race in La Liga is going to be defined Barcelona are going to be facing a Valladolid lead in the next fixture after the international break of course before El Clasico against Real Madrid on the 11th of April. Important games coming forward, of course, uh, and we're going to be waiting how things are going to be panning out for Atletico Madrid later on in the season. That's it from me for this match. Always a boy with HD of the PSP. Like, share, comment on this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, enable notifications to receive all the updates from these match recaps and all the other content on the channel, including our podcast dropping tomorrow. Listen to that on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform. And follow us on social media, site PSP, and do that, on Instagram. And until next time, I'll see you soon.